Winter, shall we? It's our winter weather week here at News 8. And as we expect snow to be falling, you know, sometime, we need to be able to measure that snow when it comes. But what's the best way to do that? James Gilbert shows you how to build a snowboard and not the one you ride on at the ski slopes. Measuring snow is one of the most important things we can do for winter meteorology. It helps us forecast, it helps us understand snow better, and maybe most importantly, it helps us verify our snow forecasts. We're going to measure snow at my house, and the step you need to do first is find a place. Let's go in my backyard. All right, so we're in my backyard now, and I've got a couple of trees back here. So what we want to find is an open area away from any trees and of course away from the house. So I've got this tree here and the next tree is uh, off the screen over here. So I think I've got a pretty decent spot right about here where it's uh, well away from other trees and away from the house and it's a nice open plot of land that's nice and flat. So we've got our spot. Now the next thing we need to do is build our snowboard. All right, we are now in my garage and we're ready to make the snowboard. Now, basically, what you need is a piece of plywood, a half inch, maybe five eighths. I have a long piece of scrap wood that I found, this four feet long, and I'm just going to cut it in half and put them together to make a 24 inch by 24 inch square. That's all you need, plus a little bit of white paint. We'll get to that in a second. Safety first, I've got my safety glasses on. I've got my gloves here. Let's measure out. Remember, always to be safe with it. Next, we're going to glue the pieces together. All right, we've got our board, and now we're going to paint the entire board white. I know I'm not really wearing a great painter's outfit, but what this does is it makes sure that the board doesn't absorb any extra heat. All the sunlight gets reflected off of it, and it'll uh, accumulate snow a lot better. All right, we've got our board in place in the spot that we want it. What we can do now is take a stake and get it into the ground. Now we know exactly where the board is once it starts to snow. Get out your ruler, and once that snow stops, measure that snow and record it. Reporting in Rochester, James Gilbert, News 8. All right, James Gilbert, we thank you. Now, measuring on grass or pavement can give you a false number, but if you must, take three different measurements in a large grassy area and average them together for an estimate on snowfall. And here's a quick look at all the upcoming weather week segments we have in store for you. Tomorrow it's historic storms, always a fun one. Then Rochester winter in 2070. And on Thursday it's winter during a pandemic. And we're wrapping it up with the winter outlook on Friday. And Chief Meteorologist Eric Snyder, that one is always the big one. That's People want to know what is going to happen. That's exactly right. And for what it's worth, by the way, if you do happen to build one of these snowboards like James has showed you, we use those submissions. You can go on RochesterFirst.com on our weather tab. We have a Weather Watchers page, and we could use your reports on air. And 